<laughs> Every time I make a cup of tea, I pretend I'm in the World Darts final <laughs> and test out my skill at throwing the tea bag in the cup. <laughs> David's team. Um, that's not exactly what you have to do in darts, is it? <laughs> <laughs> How far away from the cup do you stand to throw the bag? I do exactly four paces. But large paces, so, Rob, about six paces. <laughs> <laughs> and <clears throat> what sort of tea bags do you favour? Oh, uh, the old David Mitchell chat-up line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the tea bag uh, of preference do is... Use a the... pyramid bag? No. Or a frisbee-like uh, Tetley the, affair? <laughs> the little round ones, the round uh, ones. Because, as we all know, if you're going to try and throw a pyramid-shaped tea bag into a cup at four paces, well, you're an idiot. We all know that. <laughs> What's your success rate? Uh, about one in uh, one in ten. The way I do it is this: so you get three tea bags, you take your four paces, and then you do a little bit of a, you know, psych yourself up, pretend it's the world darts final, give yourself have, a, have a pint of bitter. <laughs> yeah, you know, put on a bit of weight. Yeah, <laughs> get the uh, the tea bag, and then give myself a bit of pressure by saying to myself, <laughs> "Here he is, Lee Mack. <laughs> he needs to get one tea bag into the cup." to become the world darts champion. Can he do it? If you get it in the cup, do yeah. you then say 180? No, because there's only ones. I just go, one! <laughs> <laughs> but I'd use the end bit, I'd go, one! T! <laughs> throw three and then I'll go back and I'll gather the three and I'll do it again and then I'll give myself one final uh, throw of three. This sounds remarkable and well, we're all now picturing it, aren't we? Yeah. In our minds. <laughs> yeah. what, how lovely it would be if we, yeah, if we had a yes, mug well, that's the thing. and if we had some tea bags <laughs> and if the mug, for example, got popped just on the desk there. Why don't you well, put it Well, that is far more than four paces. Yeah, you've got to come over here. You come over here. I tell you what, after this, we're going <clears> to <throat> forget all this truth and lies stuff. This is a much better game. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So what I do is I go up to the cup like that and I'll sort of do one, two, three, four. Yeah. I'll often do this. I'll look to my right, might put the kettle on, get it ready. And I'll often look, <laughs> often look to the left and go, Rob, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, Heston, the beans are burning, you were in charge of them. <laughs> David, put some clothes on. And then I'll... <laughs> and then I will... The trick is to get... You can't, you can't squeeze too hard because you've split the bag. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the trick is to give the, the tea bags a little shake and then you, you've got to get them compact. I mean, it's a bit disgusting, but a real little trick is if you've got sweaty palms, you'll get a bit more... You know what I mean? Bit more I mean, I've got sweaty purchase. palms. Yeah, but I don't want you, because then I've got to drink the tea. Oh, right. You just and like you're a... not always going to be there for me, are you? <laughs> I <So>. am. <laughs> no, at least so you're not, David. <laughs> and then you put it onto your head... Lee, Lee, yeah? just say, you've obviously got quite a large kitchen. Uh, well, no, no, because now I'm, I'm now in the living room. <laughs> no, no, no. You uh, just said the kettle's there. Yeah, no, I keep my kettle in the living room. <laughs> School, why get up to make a cup of tea? You put it next to your sofa. <laughs> what an idiot. Right, and then you do that. You get it on your head like this. Yeah. Like that, and then you do that. <gasps> I'll tell you what, when it hits the cup, it's a lovely noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Now, at this point at home, I'll be going, because oh, look at this. This is actually turning into an event now. <laughs> and then I've got Lee Mack, who's only got six tea bags left, to become the world champion! <laughs> He's going to have to make sure that this one goes in, otherwise, Joggy will send me in! <laughs> lovely, lovely. Right, there we are. So, what are you going to say then, David? Well, the thing is, it is difficult now because whether or not it's true, he's definitely going to do it from now on. <laughs> <laughs> As am I. <laughs> Do you think it's a lie? I'm not sure. I think it's true. Well, I think we're going to say true. You're going to say it's true. OK, Lee, truth or lie? It was, in fact, true. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> Lee does pretend he's in the World Darts final every time he makes a cup of tea. <laughs> every Sunday, I treat myself to a relaxing bath with three squirts of furry liquid in it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> because when I was a kid, uh, we, we used to use 
a bit of fairy liquid if we'd run out of bubble bath. And so... Yes, I, I can believe that, <laughs> but then you decided, in fact, why do we need the bubble bath? <laughs> but, but why only on a Sunday? You shower the rest of the week and bath on a well, Sunday? Well... I'm old school. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with an all-over flannel wash. <laughs> <laughs> Under the armpits on a Monday, down below on a Tuesday... <laughs> And he's on a Thursday. This is like a really dirty version of a Craig David song. <laughs> so you, you ran out of bubble bath many years ago and have never restocked. No, not true. What happens when not you run true. out of fairy? I run out of bubble bath all the time and I'm always restocking on a Monday. How can you but run out of bubble bath the... if you only bath on a Sunday? Yeah, don't tell me you you, ah, you, you shower the rest of the week. Liquid soap on the flannel under the arms on a Monday. Uh, you put bubble bath on a flannel. <laughs> You're telling me you've never used bubble bath in a shower because you've run out of soap. That's all the time. Liquid soap. Well, there's no wonder you keep running out of bubble exactly. bath on a Sunday. That, you're just like my wife. <laughs> in many ways. <laughs> David, what do you think? Uh, I don't think this is true. <laughs> Greg, it's cobblers. <laughs> it's a lie. We think this is It's true. a lie. Well, Lee, here's your chance. <laughs> Truth or lie? Well, well, well. <clears throat> Here we go. It is, in fact, a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I've placed a £500 bet at the bookies that I'll live till I'm 100. <laughs> David's team, what do you think? Mm. <clears throat> when did you place this bet? I placed this bet when I was 18 years old. And what odds? Did they offer? They offered odds of a thousand to one. A thousand to one. And you, sorry, how much did you bet again? Five hundred pounds. So when you're a hundred, you stand to gain what? Forty-seven pounds. <laughs> how old are you now? I'm forty-one. Right. So at five hundred thousand pounds. How... <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Nice. Well done. I'm <laughs> So you're only a couple of years younger than me. At 18, £500 was quite a lot of money back then. It was. It was Where did you get £500 from? I inherited it from my granddad, oh. who reached the age of 100. Oh. And I your, thought that would be an appropriate thing to your do. Your granddad yeah. was 100 by, before you were 18. <laughs> your dad when you're 18. <laughs> Sorry? When you're 18. <laughs> when you were 18, your grandfather was 100. Yes. yes. No. So he yes. was 82. Your grandfather was 82 when you were born. Right? Can we stop calling him Grandad and give him his proper name of Step Grandad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. OK. So just some respect for the dead. <laughs> He was your step grandfather. <laughs> but you yeah, still, but you still just... decided that after your grandfather died, your grandmother married a much, much older man. Well, she, she, was, she was very old. She was very old when she had my. Yeah. My why, dad. Did you, why did how you decide? Old, how old was your grandmother when she had your dad? She 71? was. 71? <laughs> she, she was 45 when she had my granddad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sense, no, she was 45 when she had... The maths might make sense, but why did you decide that the genes of your step-granddad would be in you? <laughs> £500, that would have got you an airfare to Australia. 23 Surely years Surely you'd have spent it on travelling or something like that. I just can't believe that she you might... would... Oh, yeah. I was grieving. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the time to go flying around the world. Well, There's very... nothing more upsetting than a step-grandfather <laughs> dying on. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. We just none of us expected it. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Ruth thinks it's a lie. Jason thinks it's a lie. Lee, is it a lie or were you actually telling us the truth? It is, in fact, a lie. No, it's not true. But uh, Lee's going to feel like such an idiot if he does reach 100. Not because he didn't place the bet, but because he'll be wetting himself on a bus and telling strangers he used to be on the telly. <laughs> Next. There was a saying in my old school, if Lee Mack can pass his geography O-level, then anyone can. <laughs> it's eminently plausible, David, but is it true? Um, what, I mean, in what way did it constitute a saying? 
I mean, well, I'm sure somebody could have said it. Yeah, it Does that make it a saying? I'll be honest with you, it wasn't on the coat of arms <laughs> at <Right>. the school. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, it, was, it was said for a few years after I left. Mm. What was it about your approach to geography that led your geography teacher to think you were pretty much the worst person at geography on Earth? Well, because we used to do mock... Uh, you do mock O-levels the year before, and I failed it badly. So they said, you're going in the CSE class, which was for the kids who used to hit nails with hammers. <laughs> and my mum went down to the school and said, he just failed it, and with that extra chance, he'll pass it. And they looked at her sad little crying eyes, and they... <laughs> and that I... coal on her back, and they said... Yeah. I trust Mac, they said, we'll give him that one chance. Look, Lee, if this isn't being developed into a film, then you've been robbed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what was the grade? The grade that I passed with? Yeah. C. So if you had stayed oh, yes, in the... that is a grade. Yes. 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 <laughs> Listen, this is important. Right. Yes. I doubt that, but carry on. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you're single. <laughs> um... oh. Oh. <laughs> lie. So... Lie. 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 Uh, Lee. Lie Lee. What? No, that's the name of your Vietnamese bride. Who <laughs> <laughs> so, even, so even as I speak is at home right now banging against the inside door of the airing cupboard. <laughs> I'll be home soon, my sweet. <laughs> Lee, lie? It is, in fact, true. Ah, yeah. True. When I was six, I was thrown out of ballroom dancing lessons. <laughs> David's team. Right. I'll take this. <laughs> <laughs> Never say that to Craig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you were six. What, what, uh, what, did, what did you done in the ballroom dancing lessons? I, 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 I broke some... I broke a piece of equipment. What equipment can you break ballroom dancing? Um, I broke the machine that plays the music, the tape machine that plays the music. <laughs> what? Well, the machine that plays the music, the music tron, the robot, the friendly yeah. robot that ran the classes, <laughs> and would play the piano. I what, broke it. What dance were you doing at the time? I can't remember the dance, if the truth be known. So you can't do it now for us? You're absolutely right, Ben. OK. <laughs> so, Lee. You say you couldn't do it, and under normal Kate. circumstances, but we've got a... We've got a... Oh, Craig! I, I call him dancer. <laughs> he can hold your hand and right. ease you into it gently. I'll show you how it went. OK. I'll show you how it went. Oh. Right. <laughs> now, I'm going to say this really slowly, so listen. <laughs> I think, uh, I think I'd better lead. Now, um, <laughs> it's, it's arm up, like this, you see, and basically, the uh, arm on the shoulder, the other lady, I sort of turned and then said, oh, what's that machine? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I broke the machine. That yeah. was a rough, roughly out of the If that's not evidence... <laughs> so what are you going to say? What's, what, what do you think? Truth or lie? I think it's an unusual choice, you know, for a six-year-old. For a six-year-old, six well. but it's obviously... It was a... big in the 70s, though, because of Come Dancing. Come Dancing was a big show in the 70s. Yep. Before it was bastardised. <laughs> 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 so what are you going to say? I, it's a difficult one, but I think we're saying it's a lie. You're saying it's a lie. Yeah. OK. Uh, Lee, <clears throat> truth or lie? It is, in fact, true. Oh. Oh. It's true. Anyway. When Lee you know, was six, anyway. he was thrown out of ballroom dancing lessons. Even so, he spent the next few years locked away in his bedroom perfecting the hand drive. <laughs> I kept my car running for two months by cracking an egg into it every day. David's team, is that possible? When you say cracking eggs into it, where do you mean in? In the petrol tank or in the... Oh, in the petrol tank. Are oh, you a fool? Do you know nothing of cars no, and not eggs? No, not egg running cars. Well, <laughs> if you, in a car you have um, a radiator. If the, if the radiator cracks, all the water comes out. Yeah. But, interestingly, if you put an egg in the radiator, it, it goes... it congeals. And it seals the hole in the radiator because the, the egg cooks. So why didn't you go and get it fixed? Well, yeah, that's a good much. question. See, Trini, I couldn't afford it. So I thought, it's about 100, 150 quid to get the radiator replaced now. It was my first car. So the eggs it, must have cost what? you 100 quid. No, no, they weren't free-range, darling. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, 
I'm talking really so you cool did, a, did you do an egg a day? Fool and cheat, they used to be called. Did you do an egg a day? <laughs> I can pump out 50 a day, was the advert. <laughs> <laughs> who, needs, who needs to move his head? That's where the advert is. <laughs> <laughs> who needs to move his head? 50 a day, that's me. <laughs> so what do you think? Is it true or is it a lie? Can't be true. What do you think? I think it's a lie. Oh, OK, dear. lie. You're saying it's a lie? Uh, Lee, tell us the truth. It is, in fact. Oh, <laughs> well oh yes. Very okay. good. It's, uh, it's very, very true indeed. Lee Mack's motto is if there's a job worth doing, it's worth doing haphazardly with some farm produce. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, possession. Oh, right, you're going to pick the box up then from under the desk. Well, you say box. Oh, sorry, the Ooh, tube, the yes. tube. This is my wall map of the UK. I have marked every service station that I have ever visited on it. Oh, OK. I can so see him doing that. Yeah. <laughs> it's from a man who was criticising somebody else for photographing a beige carpet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> sorry, if, are, they, um, are they little stickers? Yes. Sorry? They're two colours of stickers. There are two colours what of stickers. What do they represent? The orange ones. Th these are the orange ones, the yeah. orange ones. Yeah. And I've also done blue ones. But why? Why? So I could differentiate between the two types but of service stations. Why? What? I'm about to tell you. OK, well, come on. Just give me a second. <laughs> <clears throat> sometimes Lee likes to finish his own sentences, sometimes not. <laughs> They're basically do two differentiating uh, <laughs> service stations. Mm. I use orange if I am heading north and blue if I'm heading south. <laughs> or if I'm heading west, I also go for blue. In east, I go for orange. Well, you have headed north a lot more than you've headed <laughs> west or east. I mean, how did you get back here? <laughs> There's about, they're actually equal if you count them. Looks like there are loads more orange. <laughs> Uh, now, that one on the, in Scotland, there, on the top... I can't believe you know where Scotland is, David. Well done. Near Inverness, there's one. That yeah, one there? That one there. Would reminisce about that. Uh, <laughs> you know what, I will. I will reminisce about yeah. that. Uh, I went in, uh, went through to the main pasty area, where I ordered my Ginster's pasty, and uh, my say Aberdeen service so station, no, it was absolutely the perfect just, temperature. Just, what, this just, is really hurting just, my arm. OK, you Sorry. can put it down. One more question, we though. One more, have a look. Yeah. One more, more question, look. though. Well, no, you don't have to spoil can it you, with the details. Can you if you want me. to have a look, they can have a look. Yeah. Can they? Yeah. yeah. These are all motorway service. Yeah. Oh, you're all coming, are you? Well, I you know. Yeah. 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 There's an F and a, an asterisk. What yes. do they denote? They, they denote they not fantastic. And uh, <laughs> the asterisk is... Uh, <laughs> there's not a word. Blows my mind. <laughs> Blows my mind, um, the asterisk. And how many years of touring <laughs> does this represent? Oh, it's not just touring. I'll do it when I'm on holiday. I'll do it wherever I go. Mm. You know when you said that there were about the same number of orange and blue? There's seven blues and 33 oranges. <laughs> You're going to be laughing on the other side of your face when in the next round I say, I am colourblind. <laughs> <laughs> so, David, it's time to take a guess. What Aberdeen service station doesn't ring true. It's definitely... I wonder, with the Aberdeen one, that's right outside Aberdeen. So you, stop, you stopped at a service station about six minutes after departing. <laughs> if it's on empty, I stop and fill it up. Certainly, Which I'll, 33 I'll... times out of 40 happens when heading north. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's uphill. You could... <laughs> Lie, lie. You're saying lie, lie. quite conclusively. Uh, Lee, is it the truth or is it, in fact, a lie? It is, in fact, a lie. No, no. no. <laughs> it's a lie. That's not... <laughs> I just say to the idiots that come up with these questions, as if it's not hard enough that I put little stickers on a map because I fill up and I like to get... They'll think, oh, no, how can we make it more harder? Well, I have four of them with blue, one, one with an X, and one with a bloody asterisk. <laughs> Ocean. <laughs> Last year, I was ordered to leave Blackpool Tower after I threw a sausage roll off the top. <laughs> <laughs> How were you discovered? Did someone see you? Up, Security what, was at the top. And, they... and saw you. Why did you throw it? Well, because I'm a northern. And <laughs> I just thought the bin's over. You know, the bin was, was not it, inside. Why didn't you finish it? Because, actually, I'd already had one. This was my second. I was halfway through it, and I thought, no more for me. <laughs> Are they hot sausage rolls? <laughs> if you want, I'll give you the accurate heat of how they were. This hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do 
did you throw it off the top? You're there, there's security there. It's a horrible thing to because do. Someone, how fast is a hot or even quite hot sausage roll <laughs> going to be moving by no, the time no, it no, hits you're wrong, some David. No, poor, no, 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 it wasn't morbidly quite hot. obese child I... down on the <laughs> promenade having a miserable time on holiday in Blackpool of all places, <laughs> and then you. He's just heard about the divorce but... of his parents, <laughs> consoling himself with another load of high sugar snacks, and the next thing he knows, a warmish sausage roll <laughs> hits him <laughs> slap in the face. <laughs> he's... And now he's trying to eat the second sausage roll. <laughs> David, let's yes. have a guess. Well, firm. I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't think he would. I think it's a lie. I think we think this is a lie. Yeah. You're all agreed? Yes. It's a lie? It's a lie. OK. Lee, is it uh, the truth or is it a lie? It's actually a lie. <laughs> yes, it's a lie. Uh, Lee was not ordered to leave the Black Bull Tower after throwing a sausage roll off the top. As if anyone from the north would waste something wrapped in pastry. 